Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. A funny thing happened. Between this part and the last part, I forgot the quick save. This is a totally different day that I'm recording. So, I had to redo... 3-1 and 3-2 off camera. So my life count is likely off as well as my items count here, but eh, who need I mean, who needs to really pay attention to the lives, but who, who needs to pay attention to the item count either, really? But I'm just saying that just so uh, people don't wonder things. Just made a mistake there. No biggie. Uh, there's two Hammer Brothers around this area, as you've seen there. This one isn't hard at all, as you can kind of see, because the uh, main weakness ah, of Hammer Brothers is the fact that you can go under them. Or I should say, that's what you're supposed to do, kind of, usually. <laughs> so, when you go under them and hit them underneath with a block, you kill them. Otherwise, if you try to go over them, you know, you're gonna get hit, you're gonna hit, get hit by ice, fire, hammers, whatever. You get the idea. And there's another Hammer Brother roaming around here. But I think I'm just gonna go over to 3-3 so I can get a power-up for that Hammer Brother later. So, let's do it. Da -da -da! And no power-up in there. Oh, what a rip-off. Could I knock one of these boxes around for a power-up? No, but there's an extra life there. That's a pretty easy life to uh, grind if you, for some reason, need lives. Oh, this is a pretty cool one. Uh, look on the ceiling. You'll see different colored icicles over there. Yeah, those those ones fall. And sometimes you'll find uh, hidden alcoves and stuff like that uh, underneath these thingies here. Um, like underneath these platforms. Gotta keep your eyes peeled for those kinds of things. And power up, please. Thank you! So yeah, look out for the icicles. And the water, surprisingly, isn't cold. It's actually kind of lukewarm. Uh, evidently, this is like an underground hot spring area or something like that. And the upper part is just ice. But hey, you know, that's my only explanation for this. Otherwise, you know, you would think it's pretty cold. Hey, come on, work with me here, Mario. You have to get across. Ooh, power-up station here. Let's see what I can get. Can I get a penguin suit? Yes, I can! I called that one. I've got pretty good timing with the blocks, so I can usually pick out the power that I need whenever I need it. And... Uh, is there any... Co I don't remember if there being more coins around here, so I'm just gonna leave this... I know I need the penguin suit later for this level, though, so... Oh, this is pretty cool here. Get close enough, this will fall, then you can jump on top of it. And some of these do look like tilt a little bit after you do that, it kind of throws you off and makes you a little nervous. And uh, it's, it's kind of like those surprise attacks in uh, like I want to be the guy kind of game, so to speak, with that. And uh, I'm going to. Ah, oh, that sucks! And not going to. Oh, that really sucks too! As I said, need the penguin suit, and I'm gonna have to get myself another one or go through this level again. And I also need the power up for the Hank Hammerman Lift. Hammerman, Hammer Brothers later. Oh, why did I jump there? I mean, I should say, why did I jump right there of all places? Why didn't I just jump the gap? Well, I guess that's okay. I'll see if I can get a power up right now. Um, no, wait, that the item box. Yeah, it was after. I mean, the checkpoint was after the item box. Ah, uh, poopers! Well, at least I can get a mushroom here, and hopefully I'll be able to keep it. Um, I don't, yeah, I don't think that the multi-item box was after that. Yeah, poopers! Okay, I gotta be extra careful here not to take hits. Gotta go under here gently. And kill him like that. There we go. That makes me happy. <laughs> to say the least. And... What the heck? Come on, Mario. Thank you. Go for the icicles. You just run under these. And look out for this one. I tried to stop myself in the air that time. That was the proper way of doing it. And this one's gonna tilt. Yeah, I don't think it falls, though. Wait, does it fall? I'm just gonna... No, it doesn't fall. But it does scare you a little bit, like it's gonna fall. Okay, you fall, though. Yeah, you. Yes, you too. Uh, I don't I don't want the other ones to fall, but I definitely want you guys to fall. And they can also kill Goombas if you time it right. Or you just get a lucky run through it, of course. What's in here? Uh, 
Uh, I bet you these are pink uh, blocks for uh, penguin suit runs. You know, to uh, dash through here quickly, and this will give you a little platform to go into this pipe. Very nice. And I'm still looking for suits. Anyone? Oh, there we go! Okay, now what you want to... Wait, maybe I don't need the penguin suit for this. Maybe it's just the barrel that I need for it. Um, this, you can use the barrel to protect yourself from the icicles above, or just run right through it. It doesn't really matter either way. And, uh, oh boy. There we go. Now what you want to do here is stand like on the edge here and... Wait, can I just throw it? Yeah, that'll work. I was going to say throw it on the edge so it doesn't break when it touches the other... I mean, so it doesn't hit the wall and break, but well, that works. Just stand right next to it and that's the end of the stage. Yay! What does he say there? He sounds like he says it's Mario time or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, let's take on the Hammer Brother, well, Ice Brother guy there. Uh, there's also a life house there, but do I really need to show those anymore? I've got so many lives! <laughs> 71. So I just might skip those houses now, because I really, really don't need the lives. Come on. Projectile, there we go. And if I... You're gonna die if I leave you there, right? If you just sit there, you'll eventually break apart. No, you'll actually live! Dang it! I didn't think you'd live. Usually enemies die when they're uh, hit with the ice ball and break apart. And, uh, whoa, no! My penguin suit! Well, I guess I can get some mushrooms. But as I said before, those are kind of useless for 100%ing the game. Oh, as a side note, I was having a lot of trouble back at 3-1 getting that uh, penguin run, that coin in the underground cave area that I couldn't figure out how to do in, like, uh, was it? I forgot what part it was. Oh, come on, camera brother guy. Work with me. Come on. Come on. There we go. Yeah, I, I could, for some reason, I just couldn't jump in midair. My timing must have been too late every time or something like that, but one time I got it and I just finished the level. This one's, this one seems like a pretty tricky one here. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to do... Oh, I was going to say, I'm going to go right through the floor and jump on his head. And there we go. Woo! Uh, I might as well use a mushroom to start off the next level, as long as I got six of them in the last minute or so. <laughs> so... Yeah. Yeah, I can either go to the castle... Well, that's fortress. I can either go there or to the house. I'm gonna go to the house. There's a secret exit here, which I completely forgot where it is. But I know the locations to most of the uh, coins, so that'll make things a little easier on me. So, three dash ghost house! Oh, I love the music in this place, too. Listen! Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> Over here, as you'll see, is a star coin. Um, doors usually will be fake when you press up next to them. Yeah, you enter doors by pressing up, as I said before. Um, I'm pretty sure this is a fake one. Oh my god! Attack of the evil candle holder! Yeah. And that failed. It just hit the block. And as you can see, these are boos. They are the shyest ghosts in the world. When you look at them, they close their eyes, put their hands over them, and blush. And if your back is turned to them, uh-oh, 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 they come towards you, yeah. <laughs> they're very cute, they're very fun. Oh, wait, 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 is there some, I don't think there, is there some, I don't remember there being anything underneath there, but I know there's something over here, yeah. I'm pretty sure this is a fake door. That's what I thought. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna check that wall over there, but there's a lot of fake walls in ghost houses. Obviously, as you can see. So let's just uh, check everything that I go. Uh, either everything as I go, excuse me. And I should be able to clear out this place. And there's a coin coming up to the left here. Did you see that coin that flew out of the wall? Yeah, there's a spot here. It contains star coin number two. And over here, I believe, is a falling segment, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, oh, no, wait, that's not yet. There's a secret in here. 
a bunch of coins, but is that going to be a power-up if I go up here? Certainly seems like, nah, it's just a bunch of coins. You also notice that the blocks are rocking back and forth like they're floating or possessed or something like that. It's a pretty nice effect, I have to say. Um, I'm going to across here, just uh, jump just uh, jump on top of these to grab onto them. Pretty easy to do, and then left and right to move, blah, blah, blah. Um, I really don't need that. You come with me down here so you're not in my way. Thank you. And obviously you're supposed to lead booze around, you know, just so you don't take hits. And, uh, oh, whoops, I accidentally fell here. Oh, look at that, there's a door. Who is going to think of that? Seriously, man. I came across that by luck, by uh, falling off that platform, and the rest is history, as you can see. Anyway, here's the elevator segment. Elevator music! Do, 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 Oh, uh, keep your eyes peeled for something suspicious coming from the right. There, There's gonna be a wall that you can enter on the right side. Here it is. There's a lot of boobs guarding it. If you don't have a power-up, you're pretty much screwed there, as you can see there. And Star, hello there. Oh, there's a secret bunch of coins there. Oh, let me kill the big boo. Yeah! Oh, come on! Look at all the one-ups I'm getting. This game gives out lives like candy. Candy at a fair. And that's all for the coins here. And I believe this also leads you to the secret exit. And then the regular exit is not falling into that secret door area and just taking that normal path. And there you go. Yeah, that's definitely the secret. See, it's got a red flag. So, now for the regular exit. Alright, let's get this started. Here is the normal exit. I can pretty much just run through the level now that I'm not ex exploring anything. So, uh, let's not mess around and just get through this. Nice and quickly. So, uh, we got pole dancing Mario going up here. He's quite the pimp, I have to say. Probably got that experience from being with Peach all the time, I have to say. that That's my only guess. And that's a pretty good guess, I have to say. At least in my opinion. That's just from experience. So, anyway, let's just go up and... Come on, you come down here. Come on, come on, there you go, little guy. And drop down here, blah, 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 blah. Come on, come on, oh, there we go. Oh, that didn't want to wall kick off the block, Mario. And now I can take the normal path. I'm just going to go underneath this boo using the platform. Yeah, yeah. There we go. <laughs> I keep them at bay there. They're getting a little wild. And up here is the door you want to go to. The other one is fake. It's kind of like the first room where uh, um, you have to find a hole in the wall on the right side. And keep these at bay just by tapping left and right. Yeah, this is another elevator segment. It kind of tricks you. That's what ghost houses do a lot. Is they they make rooms that look the same, but they're actually different. But as you can see, this room is very different from the last one, now that I got the star. And uh, I'm just gonna kill a bunch of boos, as many as I can at least. And see, that ele ele <clears throat> elevator segment was a lot shorter than the other one. And you also exit differently. So if you try go back, going back in the store, oh my god, it's fake! There's a wall there! Who built that brick wall there so quickly? <sighs> well, there's normal exit, and that's that. And I also think that's all for this part. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.